this should be an easy one all right we have pressure the temperature outside is 71 the pressure is 68 so we know we have some refrigerant in there it's probably saturated so we have liquid it's over 40 44 psi so contacts to close compressor comes on should come on but it's not uh, we go to this is a Honda so we know what always fails on we always go oh it's just a relay that's why the clutch is not coming on it goes an Acura or a Honda 95% of the time that's the thing so I pull the fans are on I have it on max cool the fans came on so we know the signal is being sent to turn on the current because the fans come on so I grab this and it clicky clicky we get the old clicky clicky you can't hear it here there's too much background noise I could feel it and I could hear it but that doesn't mean the contact points are good they could be burnt and uh, resistance could be so high it can't feed it over there okay so we get that out of the way so we come over here and we take out a uh, another quick way without testing or looking up any books we go over here oh there's a fan uh, relay so I already did it so I'm not gonna do it uh, I took out the fan reel I go clicky clicky nothing happens break out the power probe and we got 14 volts right there then we go to the okay so that is for the coil and that gave us our clicky clicky i like to say that clicky clicky our little tiny terminals there's no current going across that it's just a little bit of power with a little bit of current and that's to activate the magnetic uh electric magnet in there to make the points engage and you'll have the ground on the other side there's the ground so now we come over and we look for power. Where's our power? There. This is power out of the large terminals. So we got power, so we know our fuse. I didn't even look up where the fuse is. We know the fuse is good. So we go over to grower, ground. And from this point on, it'll be the wire going all the way back to the field coil on the magnetic clutch. So we go to ground, nothing absolutely nothing it's not making its circuit back to ground because that wire just goes through the loop of the magnetic coil inside the magnet and then straight from a wire out of the coil right to a ground chassis right on the case it's not doing that so we got to open ground over there so even if i gave it where's it at there's the ground there's the ground that's not doing anything so even if i gave it 12 volts nothing's going to happen because that 12 volts just went down the wire and it went either a plug is unconnected down here or it went through the coil and somewhere there's an open in the coil and it didn't complete ground so it never magnetized so that's an easy one it's just matter you got to get down there and find is it a connector backed out inside a plug somebody does an oil change and hits the wire and takes the plug off or is it the actual steel coil itself that is open all right guys see you later that was too easy and um if this is, how old is this vehicle? A 2007, and if they never did a recharge before, 98.9% .9 of the time, it'll need a recharge, it'll be, be honest with you, so that'll be something to do. But there's a, also a undisturbing, disturbing little fact. I, I hear this noise every now and then, uh, coming from mechanical whirring noise, like a bearing, and you can't see it. But I got a bit of a wobble on the pulley down there. I wonder if the pulley bearing went bad. When the pulley bearing goes bad and the plate moves around from the pulley, uh, it sometimes will hit the coil, wear through the windings on the coil, and short it out. But we don't have a short. Because if they would have shorted out, it would have blown the fuse, and I would not be getting power right there. So you could kind of take that one out of your diagnostic that there's a short down there because if this wire short we're not getting no ground back there but if it did intermittently short because of a moving plate it would short it'd be a short the ground instead of a resistor like a light bulb and it would directly blow this fuse right there and that fuse if i would have tested it would be dead now if that fuse is dead then i know that short is drawing too much current see you guys I don't know if I covered everything. I just rushed through it. Adios.